the stock market is beginning to crash but don't panic just yet so it's no surprise that the dow actually dropped around 700 points here on monday and this is actually the biggest drop that we've seen in 2019 and it's actually the biggest since around the correction in late 2018 but instead of dwelling on the fact that your account is down x percentage points let's actually focus on the facts here around crashes and bear markets and what i really want to do is be a voice of reason here to show you guys that opportunities like this should be taken advantage of not be feared so what we're going to do in this video is actually go through some of the crashes ranging from 5% all the way up to 60% that we've had in the stock market in the last 75 years. And we're going to break it down and figure out how long it's taken for these crashes to actually come up and recover their losses. This will give us a lot more confidence and it'll actually show you guys that a crash, if it does happen, say tomorrow, may not be as bad as it sounds. So over the last 75 years, we've had around 62 different crashes that have ranged from anywhere between 5% all the way up to around 60%. So on average, this happens less than once per year. And right off the bat, just with this stat alone, it kind of gives you an idea that these crashes don't really happen that often and it shouldn't really be something you should be too worried about. So let me explain further here. So let's go down the list. Let's first start off with the first category, which is the 5 to 10% correction here. Okay, so in the last 75 years, there's been around 39 times the stock market has corrected anywhere between 5 and 10% in a given time period. Typically, when this does happen, investors see this as a perfect buy the dip opportunity and they start flooding money into these stocks and buying the dip. Usually what comes of this is investors are not too worried about the market going down 5-10%. They go in, they're more than happy to average down in their positions and maybe even build out new positions that they see value in now. And the reason that investors are not too afraid of this sort of correction, which is only between 5 and 10%, is that because on average, this recovers in about three months or so. So if the stock market crashes 10% here in the next week, it'll probably take around on average three months for it to get back to the levels that it was before that correction. So the drop of 5-10% may come really slow or it may come really violently. It might happen over a few days or over a few weeks. But like I said, on average, that recovery takes around three months. All right, now let's dial it up a notch here and look at corrections between 10 and 20%. Now, depending on how quick this sort of correction happens, it could put in some fear and panic into the market. Now, a good recent example that a lot of us have gone through was back in late 2018, between October and December, the stock market actually corrected around 20%. When we first started this correction in October timeframe, we are down around 5-10%, People were thinking, okay, this is a good buy the dip opportunity. You know, I'm going to put some money into these stocks and I'm going to buy the dip. But then as December rolled around, that selling got a lot more accelerated, a lot more violent. And that's when a lot of fear started coming into the market. A lot of investors started to sell off their positions because now they were down maybe 20, 30% on individual stocks because the market as a whole was down around 20%. This is when investors start to see their accounts. You know, if you have 10,000 in your account, it's down all the way now to like 7,000. That's when they start saying, you know what, maybe this is not for me. I'm going to sell out of these positions and just cut my losses. Well, here's an interesting fact. So in the last 75 years, we've only had around 13 different crashes that are ranged between 10 and 20%. And what's even more interesting is that recovery from these crashes have only taken us about eight months on average. And guess what? That held true once again, based on the crash that we had in October to December, 2018. We'll look at the S&P 500 here. You can see that we did crash kind of violently towards the end of the year. But now by late April 2019, we had already recovered these losses by 100%. And this took us only six months, which is shorter than the average eight months that it usually takes to recover. And just think of this, investors who are buying heavy in December are up 10, 20, 30% or even more on individual stocks from that massive recovery. And these kind of corrections are actually the best ones out there in my opinion, because this doesn't happen too often, but when it does, it provides excellent buying opportunities. You get some really great companies at massive discounts, but the economy as a whole is still strong and we don't enter a bear market or a recession. So things still look good. You get to buy awesome companies at really cheap prices. And before you know it, you've recovered your losses and you're up actually pretty big on a lot of your positions. But now things get serious from this point on. Let's step into the next section here, which is corrections or crashes between 20 and 30%. 
So this is when we're entering bear market territory because a bear market is actually defined as any crash or correction that's over 20%. And unfortunately, this is the situation where a lot of investors start to seriously panic and start selling off a lot of their stocks. And this is because things start to look pretty dark and gloomy. Stocks don't look like they're going to be recovering anytime soon. They just keep going down and down and down week after week. And of course, the media doesn't help with all of their, you know, markets in turmoil, stock market crashing. Are we ever going to recover? We're entering a recession, all these other fears that are thrown out there. And a lot of people buy into that noise and start selling off their positions. But in the last 75 years, this has only happened five times in the stock market. And on average, it takes us around two years and three months for us to recover all of these losses completely. And of course, during this time period when the market's going down 20, 25, 30%, if you keep buying and averaging down on those positions, you'll actually recover your losses a lot quicker than that two years, possibly even half of that time period, depending on how much cash you deploy during that correction. Now, like I said, these crashes don't really happen too often, but usually when this does happen, it typically signifies that we're either in a recession or about to enter a recession because this is typically when a lot of the economic conditions start to play a major role negatively on the stock market. And really what you gotta remember is that most recessions are not like 2008, where the stock market crashes over 50% in a very short period of time. Most of the recessions are about maybe 25, 30, 40% or so. And that is most likely what we may see in the next recession as well, whenever that hits. Okay, now moving on to our final scenario here, which is pretty much a full out market crash. And that is when the stock market is down anywhere between 30 and 60%. Now this can happen again, either gradually over weeks and months, or it could happen very violently. And we saw this in 2008, where it happens over a period of like a year to two years or so. You could have days when the stock market is down over 5% in a single day. And these are times when people actually start to seriously reconsider investments, reconsider their money, reconsider their financial position. And that's pretty much when fear has full on taken over the stock market. But either way, this sort of crash has only happened around five times in the last 75 years. And it's taken the market around five years and two months on average to completely recover the losses from these crashes. Now, like I said, these are typically times where there's more fundamental issues with our economy. You know, like example, 2008, you have the financial crisis and the housing crisis, both things crash simultaneously. And that's when a lot of people are seriously worried about their financial situation, which is what drives a lot of this selling. Now, no matter what these factors are that lead us to this sell-off, on average, like we saw, it takes around five years to recover these losses. And once again, that is considering you do not invest any more money when the market starts going down. Most of us here, if you have a rational mind and you have an investing plan, you'll actually wait for these opportunities. And as the market keeps dropping, you'll keep deploying more and more and more cash into the market. And eventually those losses will recover a lot quicker than five years typically. And you'll end up massively in the green in the next say five to 10 years following that. And that is really how a lot of people made a lot of money during the last recession. I know a lot of my viewers watching this bought a lot of stocks back in 2008, 2009, and they're up hundreds of percentage points on their investments today. So just remember, if we do enter a state where the market's crashed over 30%, approaching maybe 40, 50%, those are times you need to really keep a level head and just take that golden opportunity, find some amazing businesses, buy their stocks at extremely low prices, and just hold and profit from that over the long term. If you look at any solid company from 2008, you know, pick your favorite, Apple, Amazon, Google, all of these companies are up over 100, 200% since the financial crisis. Of course, there are some companies that are still yet to recover their losses from that financial crisis, but typically, if you have a good diversified portfolio, you will have a good chunk of your stocks to recover and actually outweigh any of the stock that kind of fall down or maybe enter worst case scenario bankruptcy state during a recession. That being said, if you typically stick to strong blue chip companies that have a strong future, typically you'll end up in the green as opposed to the red. So either way guys, I hope this video actually gave you a lot more insight into the stock market, into crashes, into bear markets, and really give you some perspective here on why you shouldn't necessarily fear a stock market crash. Yes, it is difficult to look at your stock account and see it down maybe 20, 30, 40%. But on the flip side, the way that I'm gonna be thinking about it in the next crash 
is that you see these stocks at a 30, 40, 50% discount, you funnel more money into your account and you buy those stocks at even cheaper prices. This of course gives you the opportunity to average down on your existing positions or maybe buy some new positions at really low valuations. And the longer this crash lasts, the more opportunity you have to funnel even more money into that account and average down even further on those positions. So really just to share some personal information with you guys at this point, I have a good portion of my portfolio in cash, well over 25%. And it's probably gonna stay that way unless we see some more stocks go down here in the short term, which if that does happen, I will deploy some more cash into the markets. If you're interested in finding out what positions I personally hold in my stock portfolio, kind of how much I'm up on each of these positions with my cost basis, you can join the stock market membership group and we even have a private Discord channel there where you can kind of discuss with me, ask me any questions and all that kind of stuff. So check it out in the description below if you're interested. But either way, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this gave you some perspective on stock market crashes. And I really do hope that this video actually settles you down a bit and makes you see the stock market and corrections in a more rational way. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to invest positively and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.